<laughs> hey, Lily. Hey, what is going on, everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario. Welcome to another episode of Thrifty Gaming Pickups. As you can see, this is the whole haul right here. Much smaller than the uh, previous episodes. Previous episodes I have done a thrifty gaming pickups and in case you do not know this is a channel I do on my second channel uh two second channel just like the uh second bone I have here Lily there we go she's good at that anyway this is the second channel I have where uh I have you know mainly this series and a bunch of other videos that you know aren't as high production caliber they might be a bit random whatever it is so if you're interested in anything else uh and possibly seeing this dog a little bit more and something with a little more polish more tutorials modding related things and all that check out my main channel it's down below in the description uh but what we do here is I go around and I like to collect games I like to collect consoles all that fun stuff I show you all what I get I show you all with my dog Lily right here and we normally have a pretty good time so Lily what do you think should we should we get in let's go ahead and get into this episode so oh boy let's go ahead and sit down hello Lily you are really in the camera this time unlike all the other episodes all the other episodes she just kind of like goes into the corner of the office right I don't have any food I really don't have any other food I really don't have any other food she kind of just like goes into the corner of the office over there and uh, just sleeps this is the most awake she's been. I think she slept in the car quite a bit. Anyways, this is going to cover, you know, not only some stuff I got in town, but some stuff I got while visiting friends and all that as well, too. So let's go ahead and get started here. So first of all, while I was out of town, I ended up going to a thrift shop that I used to frequent quite a bit and ended up grabbing a few things. This is in a little back area they had. And the first DS game pickup I've gotten in quite a while. I've actually never, ever played Diner Dash. Uh, it's complete. Figured it'd be cheap enough. Figured it might be some dumb fun to play around with. And this was two dollars, of course, on the DS. Then I ended up grabbing some PS2 games. I got Splashdown Rides Gone Wild. I don't believe I have this one. I know I have the first one. I don't believe I have the second. Hot Shots Golf 3. And SSX Tricky. All of these are complete, and the lady there didn't really know how to price these out, so it was funny because they actually had a, um, thanks for buying, Lily. They actually had a, um, st sign that showed, like, all games are $4, all PC games are $2. So when I brought them up, the lady's like, oh, okay, well, um, how much are these? And normally, if something like that's asked, I kind of just feign ignorance if I can, you know, get a better deal. And I was like, oh, I don't know, um... This one says 199 on it because it does have a 199 sticker. She was very quick to tell me that is not their sticker, and I was like, "Well, I don't know what to tell you because this one says 199, and none of the other things have stickers on them." So she ended up calling someone, and they asked, "Hey, uh, three dollars a piece? Does that work?" That was cheaper than four, so I said, "Yeah, sure." So I ended up paying three dollars a peach piece for each of these PS2 games. Good to have them in the collection. Nice to always have, you know, the complete stuff as well too. And there you go, Lily. You know, Lily, you get some PS2 games, so there you go. Anyways, over here, uh, ended up grabbing a few other things, just 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 a few things. Let me actually, before I get to this, let me get to the rest of the stuff that I got while I was out of town here. So, end up grabbing uh, a few more games. Uh, when I was out of town, I went to a local game shop, and uh, I grabbed a few games there. So, it was a surprise that there was a local game shop there, but it was a cafe, board game store. It had a like, small video game section, but I ended up getting Skate on the Xbox 360. Nice to have this again. Five bucks. I'll just move that out of the way. Splinter Cell Conviction. I know this one is backwards compatible. Five bucks. Well, backwards compatible on the Xbox One. And Skate 2 for six dollars so now i have the skate trilogy again which is really nice um i had them got rid of them and i've had skate three for the longest time uh but i did not have skate one and two so nice to have those back in the library and i know they also had uh what game was it they had splinter cell double agent which i've heard the worst reviews about but it always seemed interesting to me and i've never played it if you all have played it let me know please let me know uh but I decided to, um, I saw that, and it was like $8, and I thought of picking it up, but I was like, eh, no. I even thought of negotiating it down to $5, but I said, you know what, it, it's fine. Uh, I think it's one of those things, I feel like it's a game, I will negotiate them down to $5, pick it up, in a week or two, I'll find it at a thrift shop for 2 or 3 bucks. <laughs> So I'll just wait. There's been a lot of times now I kind of just wait to get games, uh, just because, you know, th the thrift shops will come through, which is nice. 
end up grabbing uh, some other games as well here. We're getting older, but uh, Outlaw Volleyball for the original Xbox. Never played this before. I never played any of the Outlaw series. Freestyle Metal X, complete with the uh, <laughs> the Blockbuster stuff as well, too. Uh, I almost didn't pick this one up, but they were cheap enough. And Scarface The World Is Yours. Thankfully, this one has stickers all over it, but it is complete. It is the original case, so I was happy about that. And crazy to believe that this used to be 40 bucks. Crazy. Uh, so for each of these here, each of these games, I believe, was 250 So 250 for all those, not bad at all, in my opinion. Uh, ended up grabbing as well, too, at the same store. Uh, a original Xbox controller. It seems to be in pretty solid enough shape, but it does not have the breakaway. And my friend pointed out to me, I was like, you know what, that's fine. I have some of those, so I'll just have to add the breakaway on. But $3 for another original Xbox controller. Always good to have those on hand. Right, Lily? Always good to have those on hand. I'll kind of just push them more towards her. There we go. Now she's just taking all my games. See? It's just great. It's good to have you back on camera, Lily. Again, the last few episodes, she's just been like completely zonked out. Anyways, anyways, we have a few more things here. So I'll go ahead and bring this thing back up on display. Now, I don't know all too much about this one, admittedly. Uh, but I saw it. It looks interestingly enough. It is called the Quick Shot. It looks like this would be for the Nintendo. Yes, that would be the original Nintendo because that's not the 8-pin that the Genesis and such have. Uh, that's not the Super Nintendo plugs. This is the original Nintendo. I always like having things like this. Always like it. <laughs> Uh, quick shot, that's about all I can tell, made in China. And the guy there was pretty nice about it. He he didn't know that much about it uh, at all when I went to the thrift shop. And um, he was checking it out. There was no price tag. And he was like, oh, dude, uh, I noticed there's this fray here. But, I mean, that's an easy fix if you can fix it. And I was like, yeah, I can solder. And he's like, oh, yeah, that will be easy enough. Just get another one of these cables, splice it, and you'll be good. Um, and he said, like, I asked, you know, how much it would be. And he was like, dude. Do you want it with a fray? And I said, yeah, yeah, sure. I'll go ahead and grab it. So he put $5 on it, but they were doing a 50% off day. So I paid $2.50 for this. And the other reason why I, I noticed this as well, too, is if you notice, this is designed for player one and two. It has player one and two switches right here. So it looks like that just affects one of the players. So really, to be honest, I mean, if I'm hooking this up, it looks like it's just player two that's affected. So as long as I use this as a player one controller... That's not going to affect my usage of it, so I really don't mind. So I might not even be repairing it, <laughs> as long as it still works for at least one port. But yeah, two fifty for that. So end up grabbing that. End up grabbing this right here. I'll do the consoles near the end. But got uh, at another store, Men in Black 2 Alien Escape. I actually had this as a kid on the PS2. Got rid of it years and years and years ago. Nice to have it back, though. It was a fun game when I remember playing it. And this is two fifty. Lily, there you go. You you get that as well, too. There you go. Ended up at the same store I got the, uh, the Quick Shot from. I ended up grabbing a few other games. So this was admittedly more than what I was wanting to pay. Before you say, yeah, you paid 24 bucks for that? I didn't. I didn't, actually. Uh, this was half off, so I ended up paying $12 for this, which I said, you know what? Kind of the issue of they see something that's cartridge based they see it says mario they're going to automatically mark it up to 25 dollars instead of five dollars but when you cut it in half that's actually a okay price for it so cool to have that in the collection this is super mario bros one two three and i believe the lost levels as well um so yeah nice to have that in here State of Emergency, I actually, I found this in my Xbox collection, but I have the disc only of it, so it's nice to have the full copy of it, everything complete here. End up getting Half-Life 2 as well on the original Xbox, it needs a new case, but it will be interesting to give this port a shot at one point. And finally, Resident Evil 4 on the PS2. All that good stuff. Uh, now this ended up being $4.00. These ones were also $4, but they were half off, so I paid two apiece for these ones here. So overall, not bad on those. There you go, Lily. You can have some more violent video games. I always... Here's one thing. Here's one thing, you all. I always need these damn cables. These fit either the, um, the D-looking cables, like the fat D-looking cables, or 
the figure eight cables. These ones are more the fat D looking ones. So these would be more for the PlayStation and what other system? I think PS2, they work as well, but PlayStation, PS2, and Dreamcast. Uh, these would be the ones that they work on. I'm always needing these. So I end up getting these for like 50 cents a piece from the thrift shop. It actually looks like this one's an old PlayStation one. Uh, not sure about this, but still, I always like having those around. <laughs> I know uh, when I ran this by one of my friends, not this haul, but uh, in the previous episode, I talked about meeting one of my friends, Kiwi Dog. And when we saw some of these cables, he's like, you know, I'm thinking maybe I should just buy like 10 of these because I always need them. And I was like, yeah, just get them from China or something. They're cheap enough because at the store, they're like six bucks. But still, uh, I normally like to grab them from thrif thrift stores if I can because they're normally good quality ones. Uh, and they're cheap. They're less than a dollar or or when they're not on sale, they are one dollar. So, yeah. Now, I kept throwing the 3DS into the mix here. <laughs> I'll go ahead and cover this. So this is probably, is it? This is, I would have to say, the newest game console that I've picked up at a thrift shop, admittedly. And I wish I did some before and afters because when I saw this, it had Batman stickers all over. It had some stickers around the back here as well, too. Well, one sticker, and I took it off. And the nice thing is came with Mario Kart 7 on a cartridge. So that was cool. It doesn't have any digital games on here. Um, but either way, you know, I've cleaned this all up now at this point, so that's how it's looking. I've never had a red one, was interested in getting one, but I am going to have a few plans for this console here, uh, as well as doing a software mod on it, so that would be nice. But anyways, going back to this, they had a asking price here of 90 bucks on this. Now, I said, you know what, uh, $90, and I was pretty sure I had a 10% off coupon that I was able to use, so I decided to pick it up because I said, you know what, a three, even a, a new, it's not just 3DS, it's a new 3DS XL. Even a new, a new 3DS XL at $90 is still a good deal, but if I can get it for cheaper, then that would be fantastic. Uh, especially, again, it comes with Mario Kart 7. It did not come with the car, the charger, so you know what? Same thing if you're going to buy the new one. <laughs> You buy a new 3D, a brand new, new 3DS XL, I don't believe they come with the chargers either, which is silly. But what ended up happening was, uh, this shout out to the lady there, I was buying several other things, uh, including that console right there, and I was not able to get a deal on this. Uh, for some reason, my coupon wasn't coming up, I thought I had one. I think it's for a chain of stores and it wasn't loading in, and I was like, oh damn, I, I thought I had a coupon. And like I, I said, and I wasn't like trying to be frivolous. I was like, oh, I thought it was 30%. I was like, no, I thought I had a 10% off coupon. And she was just like, oh, well, you don't. Do you still want this? And I kind of looked at it like I was holding it and I was really thinking about it. And then she was just like, you know what? I, I can do 10% off. And I'm like, wait, really? Are you sure? And she's like, yeah, yeah, don't worry. If you buy it, I'll do 10% off. So she came through, shout out to that lady there, but she ended up doing 10% off this. So it ended up being $81 for the new 3DS XL with Mario Kart 7. And then she ended up telling me, hey, just don't mention it. And I, I was like, I don't even know what you're talking about. So good times on that. Sorry, I snitched. I snitched on camera here at least, but it's all good. Got to save a little bit more money on that. So I have a few plans for that system. And finally, the final console that I ended up picking up here is this one, which you know what, let's go ahead and unbag and check this all out. So here we go, everyone. We have everything unboxed in this package right here, and I'll show you what we have. So first of all, we have Wheel of Fortune on the Wii. This is complete in pretty nice shape as well, too. So nice to have that. Probably will never play it, but hey, that works out. Speaking of games I'm probably not gonna play, I also got Game Party 2 Tournament included in this. Again, in pretty great shape. We'll probably never play it, but hey, nice to have that in the collection. It was included in all this. Inside of here as well was a Vizio Soundbar Quick Start Guide. I do not own this soundbar, but I do have a Vizio Soundbar. So I got the Quick Start Guide. And then inside of here, a 3.5mm male to RCA male adapter, as well as a optical cable. The optical cable is actually really nice to have. It's one of those things I rarely ever need optical input. And the one time I do need it, I know I have two or three cables and I can't ever find them. So it's nice to have another one on hand. This is completely random here, but again, that was included in this bundle. Now for the actual Wii itself, I got a black Wii. Unfortunately, it does not have a SD card in it, but 
Nice thing is, check it out. This is the thing everyone's going to ask. Does it have the GameCube ports? Yes, it does have the GameCube ports. So this is a fully backwards compatible Wii, which is pretty nice. Uh, I have a few Wiis, but I had one black Wii, and I gave it to my family. That was the first one I had. Gave it to my family, and I, I like the look of the black Wiis a lot more than the white ones. So nice to have another one on hand. It also comes with the Wii system stand, which I have not had. I got a power supply for the Wii itself, and this is on the back. Oh, okay, Wii. Someone just wrote Wii on the back there, if you can see that. So I got the Wii power supply. I end up getting the sensor bar as well, too, just a wired sensor bar. And I got two nun uh, Wiimotes, excuse me, not nunchucks. It does not come with any nunchucks. Uh, it doesn't come with the audio-video cables, but that's fine. Normally, if these do come with cables, they come with composite, and I don't want composite cables. I want component cables, so I have plenty of component cables. That's all good. Uh, in regards to this here, both of these have the controller condoms on them, as I like to lovingly call them. And uh, both of these here as well. This one, unfortunately, does not seem to be a first-party one. It is a Intec branded. So, eh. But whatever. And then this one here is a original, legitimate Nintendo one. And it seems to have, with this bulge here, the Wii Motion Plus add-on with it as well, too. So let's also check to see if there's any game in here. I just realized that as I was doing all of this. So let me go ahead, hook it up, and I'll just plug it into the wall socket next to me. There we go. I'm, I'm kind of doing this all with one hand, just so you all can see it live. I kind of doubt there's going to be a game in here, but, I mean, if there is, fantastic. I'm not going to complain. It does turn on. No disc. All right, and that's fine. I wasn't expecting a disc in there. But how much was the damage on this? Well, with everything here, this was labeled as uh, $50. Before you say, oh my god, you paid $50 for this? I did not. I paid $25 for this. Thankfully, it was half off. And at that price point, I'm like, you know what? A black Wii to me, sure. $25. And I didn't even notice it didn't have everything, but I have spare nunchucks around. I like it for the GameCube backwards compatibility as well, too, if I need that available and cheap. Plus, the AV cables. Most of the time when I buy these cables uh, and, well, these consoles, like if I buy an older game console, most of the time they come with composite. I don't use composite. I use RGB SCART or I use component if available. And same thing with this as well, too. So most of the time, whether a game system comes with AV cables or not from a thrift store, it does not bug me at all because I'm going to use better cables at home. So, that is all we have to it here. As you can see, those were all the pickups for this episode of Thrifty Gaming Pickups. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. I definitely did. I tried to do a smaller haul on here, aka I tried to shoot this sooner, so I didn't do a super big haul like I did for the last two episodes. So, hopefully you have enjoyed this. I know I wanted to make this a medium-sized episode, not a super long one. So yeah, if you enjoyed this, a like would absolutely be appreciated. If you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well, too. Just remember, if you dislike it, you will make this happy dog very, very sad. <laughs>